Hello, my name is James Sylvester. I'm an RMS trainer with the Rise BT Training Institute. And what I'd like to introduce today is a book I just put. This book is called Enhancing System Reliability Through Vibration Technology. Basically, over the last 19 years, every time I find something interesting, something I didn't understand, I used to research and interpret it to the way I understood it. So this is 19 years of practical notes all put together. Is it printed on A4? color at 300 pages I printed on the thickest paper I could actually print on there's a really good practical book keep by your desk and um, refer to a lot um, obviously I've been very lucky to work under some of the great trainers and mentors um, in our in, in our time so I'm very pleased with that and, um, and there's some acknowledgments in the start of the book the way I've structured it is the first part, part one, covers condition monitoring, reliability, and some work with Dr. K from the Mirky Science in there, where we bring the theory and, and, and what we do, the practical together. Can it's a failure, and I cover some of the condition monitoring technologies. Part two is the management processes for vibration analysis. Are you set up properly? What to monitor, how to monitor it? Part three is all the technical stuff. So I've tried to interpret that by using real life data in, in, so it's understandable. Part four is practical application. So this is what we would use vibration analysis on. Again, all real life data included there. Part five, balancing, and part six is the appendix. This is some examples of the content of the book. So this is on unfailing um, mechanisms for an inherent accidental aging. And at the bottom there, you can see a gearbox which actually functionally failed. That's some um, from the thermal imaging. When I discuss thermal imaging, is one another tool. Um, as you go through here, these are some examples of the data. This is real life data. I'm trying to use to explain some concepts. That's from the Baron application. There's a defect we found. So throughout the book, I'm using images as much as I can to try and explain stuff. This little section here is from the balancing. The biggest selling point, or the biggest bit I've had feedback on. It's a case study section. So at the back, I've got 17 full case studies from start of the failure, why we were called, what we detect, how we detected it, how it is fixed. These are all real life applications. We've got the images and all the VA data as well, and there's some firmware data in there as well. So these are, say, practically written for the technician. They're written so the maintenance chaps can understand as well exactly how the failure occurred, how we detected it, and how we can fix it. So if you want to know any more information about this book, there should be a link up there or a link up there to the RMS training website where you can log in and um, have a look, see how you can get one. Thank you very much.